Let's say that I'm streaming them. I'm up top there. Hello, hello, this is Samir. Um, I'm starting here shortly. Just checking out some new things that I've set up and uh, seeing how things are looking. See a few people are, or some viewers in chat, uh, I guess. Maybe. Uh, but say hi if you're in. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've streamed. Ah, need to shake off the dust. <laughs> uh, For it to be like, hey, yeah, I'm streaming. That usually doesn't happen. <laughs> Too much. The uh, goal today really is just to play a little bit. I'm not going to be doing going too crazy with the stream stuff, but things are working as expected at least. And uh, might need to tweak some things there, but we'll get to that. I'm officially going to start really trying to stream again uh, the beginning of March is my plan. March 1st, I guess, yeah. It just happens to be on Monday, so that would work out beautifully uh, for the schedule I had laid out. Um, Okay, 
Why don't we get started? We are playing Final Fantasy XIV. And welcome. <laughs> so this is my character. Um, I'm currently on a the free trial for this game. Uh, if anyone's watching, or are watching this later. Hi, again, my name is Samir the Knight. Anyone new? And uh, I appreciate a follow if you as much as can give me that. Um, yeah, just uh, going to play for a little while. I got some things I want to try and get done today. Um, I'm looking at the stream and things look good. Uh, this is my new um, stream overlay setup compared to what I had <laughs> the last time I streamed, which is, I don't even know. Actually, I mostly just did kind of uh, full screen gameplay with chat on the side, but I wanted to make something a little, uh, a little nicer with transitions, which you just saw. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm happy with uh, a lot of the results so far. Um, very Final Fantasy VII themed. <laughs> Uh, Crisis Core themed. Um, uh, if that wasn't obvious with Zack and all that there. <laughs> that avatar is not mine. I'm just using it for a placeholder at the point at this point. I need a I need a artist to do me a new one. <laughs> the logo on the top left is uh, my current actual avatar, but I wanna I think I need an update. It's been a few years. <laughs> Minecraft is not uh, really a mainstay on my channel anymore. Um, or it doesn't make up the majority of my content anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, that's where the current things stand. Uh, I'm planning to stream this more often starting next week. Um, trying to work out some last things to help increase the production value of this stream. Um, the biggest thing, really, um, besides the overlays and all that stuff, is getting faster internet so I can actually upload at 1080p for once. Because <laughs> uh, I've been stuck in the 720p realm for god knows forever. Uh, when it comes to streams, anyway. Um, Uploading raw videos to like YouTube, I've been able to get that to 10, 1080p because it's local and I don't have to worry about network bandwidth. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, I'm on the free trial. Um, this is my character. I'm going to change the name of this once I get off the free account. But um, I just couldn't pick a name when I first made this character like years ago. <laughs> Arthurio Noir Terrell. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change it to something along the lines of my actual username. Like, I'm planning Samir Za Knight, something like that for last name. I don't know. I'll have to kind of figure that out. Uh, main job is a black mage. I am level 60. I am at the limit of the. what is free. Oh god, of course it's full. Thankfully, it doesn't take long to get in. Um, what was I going to say? Um, main story-wise, I'm at the end of Heaven's Word. Uh, I'm pl my goal is to start streaming on the first, like I said, and I will be transferring to a full account by then. Um, and my goal is to... Un certain days to do the main story quest on stream as a blind playthrough and uh, on other days just trying to do random content and kind of experience the game to its fullest there's a lot of content in this game um, welcome So 
So that's my goal at least. I am uh, going to try to do that. Um, on other days, like I might do like once a day, once a week, main story quest for Shadow Bring. Uh, nope, Stormblood. Um, I, get, I always mix up the names. The Stormblood. And on other days, I'll do things like work on Blue Mage. Things like that. Uh, these are what I've worked on so far. Uh, I Black Mage is my main. I also have a Paladin and a heal, uh, White Mage at max. At, well, at the max I can currently get to, at least sixty. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty good with all three. Um, I'm working on Bard currently. Um, and my next thing to do would be to work on a. I wanted one of every. like. classification, I guess. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of Bard. But I wanted to get it done, and I, I especially wanted it so I can get access to the. Um, playing instruments, which is cool, so. I haven't really messed with that too much just yet, but uh, it's there. Um, so the next thing I want to work on is I really wanted to do Samurai, but I don't have access to that just yet. <laughs> and I can't decide between Dragoon and Ninja. Like, Ninja's cool as fuck, how it looks. Um, Dragoon is just like one of those classics, right? So, it's one of those things I've been wanting to do. But I don't want to do like... I don't mind trying out multiple classes, but like, what do I want to focus on first, you know? I have to kind of figure that out. Um... Okay. So, the goal right now is... Uh, the biggest thing I want to do today, and I need to work a little fast, is... Um, Get, I want to get the Wondrous Tales done. Uh, let's do... I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to reshuffle that again. I have... Let's see, I can get one... I can get two lines. I got lucky, but I, I'm gonna shuffle that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, that's almost perfect. I think. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that. If I can get that bottom right one on the sec on the third row, I'll be happy. I don't need to do... I don't need to worry about... I get. I got one line that's good enough for me at this point. Because um, I'm already pretty much guaranteed to get this. <laughs> I really... I, I only recently started doing the... Uh, trying to get gold saucer points, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, cool. Let me allow, so what to, I need I need two more things to do. <laughs> uh, Labyrinth of the Ancients. That's the raid. That's easy to do. I can do that. But then I need something else to do. I might I'll heal myself for this. You know, I'll kill myself as a healer for that, just so I can get in there qu pretty quickly. And then we'll try and figure out what we want to do afterwards. Because then my only really options at this point is... Um, uh, oh wait, I do have second chance. I can... Um, undo something that I've done already. So... But yeah, let's, let's work on the... 
Labyrinth. Da, da. So I'll kill myself up for that. And it shouldn't take too long to do that, so we'll be doing a raid today, uh, pretty soon. Okay, in the meanwhile, there was... <laughs> I completely forgot about doing it this week, uh, but I have some crafting related stuff to do. In Edelshire, or at least I think I do. Yeah, kind of... So I've been playing on like a bigger... Um, Bigger scaled buttons and stuff. But when I look at this on the stream, I think it covers up a little bit too much. Like, it's okay for me by myself, but I might need to work on the HUD a bit and uh, make it a little bit easier for people on stream to see stuff. But that's another time thing. Yep, okay, so I uh, I need to do this stuff. I haven't, uh, I haven't been working on this. I want crafting strips, right? I think? Nope, oh, alright, well, that's gonna be on hold for the time being. Let's do this, uh, let's do this raid. These raids are relatively easy at this point, just because it's... Everyone... I don't know, that's a level 50 raid, so... Base game... Raid. Everyone's, like, overgeared for that. Everyone's skilled, but doesn't... Make it any, like, more... Difficult or anything like that, so... Boo! Someone didn't queue up, or... You know, whatever. While we're waiting for that. Um, is there anything crafting related that I want still? I got all the tools. I'm not getting the stuff. And I got all that already. I guess I want to, if I want to get like the items, so we'll just we'll just do it. Um, all right. So for the maelstrom, I forget what I uh, need to make that. Uh, I need three. Components and this requires one. One to make. Th it's one to one. I need three of these, so. And I need to make three of them, so three, six, nine. I need nine. Thankfully, these are cheap. And some of the crafters are pretty good, too. I didn't. Oh, I didn't even actually look at this. I got. Um, all my crafters and gatherers to level <laughs> uh, 60 as well. They're all pretty much maxed out. Um, one of the big things I was working on before today was trying to get everything uh, built so I can like craft some stuff. So let's see, if I jump to... Uh, like I just recently crafted all this this, this gear, so I can, in hopes of making better stuff, and then I ended up making this, which was really difficult to make. But the hardest stuff is just like uh, 
gathering the materials, I guess. Um, oh wait, no, that's it. What am I talking about? Yeah, the fuck? Uh, this thing. <clears throat> But yeah, if I want to craft anything, like, higher level than this, like, the stuff that I really want to craft, which is, like, a lot of these, uh, let's see, not... I could make this. My crafting is good enough. Oh, wait, uh... Yeah, all my skills are pretty much identical, even though this is not a weaver. Um, I can create this, I guess? Wait, but that's not, that's not as good. Oh, I got cra craft shit out of it. And if I make it high quality, my stats would be even better than that. <laughs> but, um, a lot of those materials are really hard to get by, and... The stuff I actually do want to get <laughs> is um, out of my skill range at this point. <laughs> it's like, you don't have enough skill to even craft it, so... Which is like this stuff down here. Yeah. 870. Um, I was just under it. The biggest thing I need is control, which I don't have, I'm like way under that. <laughs> and even with melding materia, it's gonna be difficult to even get the stats I need, so... Wow, really? Come on, guys. If you queue up for it, pay attention. <laughs> it sucks for like DPS because they take a long time. There we go. So after this, I, I do want to see about queuing for a um, one of those extreme trials. They're gonna be hard as fuck though. <laughs> Especially in a pug group like this. group I'm in. A lot of this... Um, I find with the alliances... Okay, so I'm in alliance C. You have to pay attention to which alliance you're in because they... Um, sometimes they actually divvy up the work that you need to do. You need to be, pay attention to that. Some people ignore it though, and it just screws up the <laughs> the group dynamics. Like, oh, each of these three bosses need to be tanked separately in a separate group. Like, nope, the tank is gonna go to the other group, and that happened to me once. Where it's like, oh, here's a place where you have to split up in three, and two tanks went in one area, and then the other side was like, oh, there's no tanks here. Great. <laughs> Still managed to get past it, but. This stuff is, like, overly not difficult. At all. I'll open some of that. Holies. Don't die. Another big problem with these is just that they're so busy. 
because you got literally 24 people in here, <laughs> all trying to do stuff. You got people dying already, jeez. I'll just keep people alive, let them do all the work. <laughs> Is literally rubbed my roll though, so. That's one of the things I really love about this game though, is the music. That's my big. That's my biggest problem with the um, the end raids and stuff. Even like the smaller ones for these uh, for the level fifty is just that there's so much of a ride now. You barely have to put in any effort, and you go, you'll get them done. I, I wish they were still, or I wish they were maybe like a hard mode mode version where they're actually difficult to to do. Like, there's the big raid um, that ends the the first set of, um, or the first content, right? The, um, where you fight ultimate weapon and all that. Oh, fuck me. What the fuck is happening? Here's one of the instances where we have to actually split up, I think. That's just a mechanic that they expect people to do, I think. Yep. Alright. Hey, B. C should be going here. Thank you. We'll have to put that down. Teardrop. Please pull the aggro from that. I don't want to die. Okay.
each doesn't get four. Apparently someone messed up a mechanic somewhere. I think we're fine on our side, but... Yeah, see... Uh, someone from our side got cut out for... Because we were in C. Okay, that's fine. We managed. I never understood this fight. Because there's so much going on here that I'm just like... Okay. <laughs> And that's that boss time. Yeah, this is kind of what I mean when I say these are kind of just cakewalks. Or you're you're in for a ride, basically. Because you really don't have to do it too much. instance where you actually have to group up and do your thing properly because each of the things need to be tanked separately and there's three tanks. <laughs> do it correctly. Otherwise that bomb in the middle goes off when you insta wipe. <laughs> these things before actually getting to the center. That too. Smoothly. Nice. Right now we have like a behemoth here.
Okay. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is, and that killed me. Thanks. Come on. Okay, well, I guess he won. <laughs> Something <laughs> fucking went boom and uh. <laughs> I just ate shit there. I took 9,999 damage. Because awesome. <laughs> God, was someone waiting here in the beginning this whole time? And he just made the thing go up. Okay, well, this is the final boss of the right here. Yeah, this one you have to split up. I try to save who I could. <laughs> Well, that's... Someone get me out, please. Thank you. We'll take care of the thing for Wondrous Tales. And I only need one more. Um, Alright. Uh, let's hope I get one of those. Nope. Okay. Well, I have two chances for two out of uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Two out of eight chances for that last one to get me something. So I can get two lines. Because that'd be awesome. Um, oh, well, no. I have one. Well, yeah. Never mind. I, I literally have one more thing I can do, but... Anyway, um, I don't have access to these two yet because fuck trying to queue up for the Coil of Bahamut as much as I'd love to is like impossible. Um, okay, how about we queue up for... This one's a pain in the ass, no thanks. Howling Eye is also a pain in the ass. Shiba is also a pain in the ass. <laughs> 
All these extreme challenges are really hard. So I'd rather, like, just, um, actually, what time is it? It's past 10, so, um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather, there, one, the queue time is going to be long, two, it's no guarantee I'm actually even going to complete it because how difficult it is and pug groups are sucky for that. Um, so I'd rather just unto... Let's, let's do that. We'll do that. Uh, I'm going to retry. I didn't do the face that I... So I'm going to do... We'll do that. And it gives me something else. Okay. So it took care of that one for me. So I can do this one again. And that'll be the last one I'll do. Um, as a healer. I, need to, I just need to complete a level 61. So why don't... I want to do... I want to do it through here, which happens to be... There happens to be a healer in need, but... Let's just hope that it is a level 60 dungeon. <sighs> I'm doing that just for the, the tokens. I still don't need to do a dungeon for... So these are the th these. That's part of my, my daily stuff I need to do. Um, doing the duty roulette. <laughs> Give me a level 60 dungeon. This is not a level 60 dungeon. This is a level 50 dungeon. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll queue up specifically for one. Howdy. Okay, I can bump this back up. Welcome to Empador Keep.
Okay, I need a power heal here. Attention to my That's one of the things I, I need to get better about with healer. It's just my my uh, MP uh, management. <laughs> I need to be better about that. Like, keep using your, your the dream ability there. The, um, well, I was gonna say, I love the look of like a mind flare from Dungeons and Dragons, but you gotta remember that Final Fantasy's roots were very much, um, come from Dungeons and Dragons to begin with, so. That's a a lot of those classic monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. You see them in uh, need to do that <laughs> yeah yeah so it's just kind of cool seeing like classic Dungeons and Dragons monsters in Final Fantasy things like mimics and mind flares and I don't know it's cool stuff I always like Final Fantasy because of that <laughs> you know what that's hmm, that's not even a really 100% accurate statement to make <laughs> I've only recently become a war um, become a fan of Dungeons and Dragons proper. Gear 3, rather.
blinding light. Nope. Nope, pay attention. <laughs> Here's a classic enemy from Final Fantasy, the Demon Wall. People get caught by this enemy a lot. <laughs> I know, it's like every time I get in this dungeon I always see what well, we'll see if it happens, but... Called it. <laughs> every, every, every time. <laughs> uh, it's funny. That was exactly what I was expecting to happen. I was like, someone's gonna get caught, right? <laughs> he got ahead. The teleport let him get there. <laughs> uh, that's always funny to see. Just like, someone's gonna get caught. I never, I've never personally gotten caught by that. But I've always seen every time I come here, at least somebody gets caught. <laughs> Got away from me. <laughs> God damn it, I hate when I do that.
That's... That's my bad. Should have kept up. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. What? Guys, get, get behind the... Hey, Caitlyn, how's it going? Yes, it is my weeb MMO. <laughs> I'm a weeb and I will fully admit it. I can pretty much call you a weeb as well because you are the same when it comes to ESO, so... <laughs> But, uh... Wait a minute. Where did that go? Ah, oh, man, it's not... Okay, hold on. Let me get out of here first. You haven't played ESO in a month? Really? <laughs> They're both fantasy... MMOs. If one's a weeb, then the other's a weeb, too. <laughs> um... Well, welcome. Thank you for coming to the stream. <laughs> Just logging for daily bonuses. Japanese crap. <laughs> I take offense to that, but sure, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what difference does that make? <laughs> I take offense to your, uh... Your classification, sir. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> so... Um... I'm so used to saying that to other people, it's just, uh... But yeah, I take offense to that, madam. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna take my, uh... Um, my weeb self and keep playing. <laughs> I say that to like so many people, just like, excuse me, <laughs> with, with the, that's, that's a total weeb thing too, right? Like the whole glasses, uh, 
push thing. <laughs> I just, I, I love that, so. But yeah, um... Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, um... Yep, just playing, um, trying to get some weekly and daily related stuff done. Still trying to do this, so uh, let's see. I'm going to play as a paladin, and let's do a dungeon, another dungeon, because <laughs> I want to get that one done. Uh, let's do what level 60 dungeon do I want to do? the script, so let's do that one. Yeah, let's do that one. This one's a fun one, too. Um... <clears throat> right, so one of the things is this Wondrous Trials, this is just like doing random dungeons or raids and trying to get like, it's like a dungeon bingo sort of thing, and you have a you, you can do this weekly, and if you can get, you can get up to three lines of stickers, I guess, <laughs> and you get more, you get better prizes if you get more lines. Um, I got one down, thankfully, so uh, once I finish this dungeon, I should be able to complete this and turn it in. Uh, so that's one of the weekly stuff I want to do. The other thing, which is the crafting thing I was doing, uh, do I have some time? I have like seven minutes before it pops, so let's start working on that a little bit. We are crafting materials for this orphanage to provide some materials so that they can sell and make money for the orphanage, so we're doing that. <clears throat> let's do that. Deliveries, Zoe. How did I do this before? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, or like what the best way to do this was. Just do this in the meanwhile while we're waiting for the uh, Q to pop. <laughs> Yeah, so how goes, Kate? What are you up to today? <laughs> Subtle. <laughs> well, do something then. I don't know, I'm just messing with you at this point. Um... I would invite you to play this, but uh, I know this is not your cup of tea. <laughs> or whatever your favorite beverage is. <laughs> Secrets of mana randomizer after 40 hours treasure of Rudras. Wait. After 40 hours, treasures of Rudras vanish from his flash storage drive when he 
No, just slightly. Wow, okay. I don't know what that Treasures of Rudress is, but if I dedicated 40 hours to something and then it got wiped, I'd be... It's a JRPG, okay. Yeah, but I'd be pissed if I lost 40 hours of progress in a game like that. Um, ah, it's an old one, okay. I know Secrets of Mana, or wait, is Secrets of Mana the one that just got um, a re-release? Oh, my thing popped. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to look it up later. <laughs> uh, or is it Legends of Mana? I don't... Yeah, I'd, I'd want to cry. <laughs> uh, I think it's Legends of Mana that just got announced, like a like a remaster. And it's one of those old games that look... I never really played it or really had an interest for it, but it looked cool. I was like, hmm, okay, I might want to pick it up. So I'm guessing there's just... The, the Mana series is more than just the one game, obviously, so I need a... It's the fourth game in the se same series, yep. I, I, I didn't even know that, honestly, but it, it was a... The, the Mana series is one that I've been sort of curious about. Alright. Time to pull all the stuff and beat a tank, because... definitely work this out and like, make this a little bit easier to see, especially through streams. I've been playing it like this because my eyes don't really do well with the finer text font. Or at least recently I've been dealing with eye strain and this is up a little bit. I'm not looking at chat right now. I have to keep this going, like, relatively good. Just because I don't want to keep people waiting. Not everybody, but most people expect you to kind of go quickly <clears throat> as a tank, so I try to do that. So we end up getting a French proxy tank. We went from four to none. <laughs> four, to, four tanks to none. <laughs> yeah. ESO. Uh, hated that in WoW. I mean, you could take your. Oh, you're, you're talking about me, like, trying to go fast. Um, not everyone expects it. Um, and you, as a tank, are allowed to set your own pace. I always, I always say that as a rule. Like, if someone tries to rush you, fuck that guy. <laughs> Alright, first boss. I've had people who try to, like, go ahead of me. 
um, like, like I'm, I'm going at my own pace, there doing my own thing. And then they'll just run ahead and like pull enemies. I'm like, oh, okay, you want a tank? That's cool. Go ahead. I'm like, uh, you want a tank and you're, you're a squishy uh, rogue or whatever? Sure. Go right the fuck ahead. <laughs> Yeah, people in WoW would run ahead of tank and die and bitch. It was, yeah. <laughs> uh, we did that in WoW when we took pickups. If, if they ran ahead, we would all stop and let them tank and die. Yep. I try to let that happen here, and I call them out on it. Like, you want a tank? Go ahead. Like, I'm the tank. Let me set the pace. <laughs> Not all tanks are, like, comfortable with pulling tons of enemies. Like... I'm somewhat comfortable with that at this point, but not everyone is. <laughs> Let them pull at their own pace. But some people are just so much in a fucking hurry, I guess. I don't know. Why are they... Oh, what the fuck? My tank stance went off. Why? That was weird. I accidentally take, take off tank stance every now and then. I don't know how I do that. <clears throat> anyway. Meanwhile, my dumbass thing is still being a healer and being able to process tank. <laughs> Back off. I like being up close, but... Slowly but gather people who, who, and we in theory might be able to do some trials in ESO, but people are getting leveled, right? I'm hoping to at some point have enough people to play with on this so I can actually start doing things like that. Because while doing the dungeons here is nice, and the pickup the pickup groups are not too bad here. It's it's the higher tiered stuff that's like it's impossible to queue up for I'll talk about it in a bit once I'm, once I'm out of this um, but there's just there's certain dungeons in this game now and raids that are just old content at this point 
that no one queues up for. So it's impossible to like do a pickup group for it. And that's one of my biggest gripes with the duty finder in this game. Um, or you know the dungeon finder as you might call it in. But it's um Like, they have, like, roulettes that they'll throw in random ones and stuff like that, but um, they don't include some of the ones that are, like, the, the um, <clears throat> like, the end raids and stuff like that that are old content. It's just like impossible to randomly queue up for it, let alone queue up just as a pickup. Anyway. Oh, don't look away. Look away. There you go. What? I looked away. Fuck off. Look at me. I'm looking this way. <laughs> and I still got petrified. <laughs> what the fuck? I call bullshit on that one. Why did everyone die? Holy fucking shit. Is no one paying attention to like... I didn't, I'm not paying attention to the other people near me, but... Were they standing in shit? <laughs> Why did everyone eat shit all of a sudden? <laughs> and I was the only one that was fine. Pickups in WoW and TF2 made me hate it. I refuse to do them anymore in anything if I can help it. Um, as a healer, I'm going to guess they stood in AoE. Yeah, I, I didn't see any AoE stuff on the floor. Oh my god, you, you reminded me of a dungeon I did yesterday. Literally, the tank. The tank. And I shouldn't have to explain this to the tank. Was standing in every AoE. And I was just like, I literally said a couple times during the dungeon, Tank, what are you doing? Stop. Get out of the shit. <laughs> and he refused to do it for the whole dungeon. I was just like, what, what are you doing? Stop standing in shit. <laughs> and the healer didn't give a shit either. It just The healer was bad too. Just like, really slow at the heals and not curing, like, status effects and things like that. I was just like, what is going on with this group right now? <laughs> it was bad.
Oh, that was bad. Healer and wow. By someone using Healbot. Who only healed the primary tank in, in a raid finder raid. Someone did a total heal printout. I apparently got like 5% overheal and the stick had had 98 overheal. <laughs> You're looking at the wrong stats, you idiot. <laughs> wow. You you want to avoid overheals. <laughs> it's okay in the like... If you're just getting started and you're learning. Because maybe you need to kind of figure out where's, where's the sweet spot, I guess. In terms of like healing and overhealing. 5% is not bad. That's pretty good. Someone does not know what an overhealing means. <laughs> Overheal does nothing in WoW, it's wasted healing. Yeah, exactly, it's the same thing here. It's not a bad thing, but it just means you're overheal- you're spending more time healing than what's needed, but... Or spending more resources for healing. I don't know, however way you want to look at it. Um, I can't help it with my class because any heal I do puts on. Okay, if the hot counts for that, then yeah, then fuck that. Like, that's passive healing you don't need to worry about. <laughs> Hots are amazing for that. Come on, you, get over here. I don't know. I, I I don't care for people who are stuck up like that. Just if there's something, you, if, there's, if you have a tip you can give to make them better as a player, then yeah, by all means, say something. But if you're just gonna bash someone like that, I, and you're not even right, <laughs> then what's the point? Just shut up, right? I can't help it with my class because uh, yeah, I already read that. In my case, I wasn't. It wasn't wasted. Nah, every heal puts echo of light on them, which was. Uh, Mastery of the heal over. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I had 46 mastery, so I healed. Oh, nice. Okay, we kicked him because we he was useless. So he was out of mana the entire radio. Yeah. All right, this is a big story dungeon um, here, but I'm not gonna watch this because I've done it already, and I'll probably recap some of this when I start playing the main story stuff on stream. <clears throat> Okay. I'll, uh... Darkness shall consume light. is one of the major antagonists <clears throat> in this game, at least, for the first uh, expansion, first, the first game, uh, for the base game and the first expansion, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh, I hate this mechanic. Uh, stay still, stay still. Fucking ice. <laughs> Come on, get over here, asshole. There we 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I literally can't play mouse and keyboard because it just hurts my wrist too much. And I like playing it like this. It's just, it just it works. All right, now they fuse, and now they're this big, big bad. fights. shit because they don't know the mechanics. <laughs> wow, did the healer? Oh wait, both DPSs fell for it. Come on. They're not new to this. I don't think they're new. Yeah, isn't that, you're supposed to like go hide in the thing when he's casting that ability. again. Alright guys, get in the fucking things. They, they still fell for it. <laughs> Come on, you're standing right next to the damn thing. Good job guys. You failed. And they don't know how this works either. Awesome. Let it be. I'm not gonna complain too much. <laughs> and done. Um, yep, never got used to seeing Gamepad UI. We got there in the end. I was wondering why you're. Yeah. Wanker's cramp. <laughs> Minus the threat of planet being reset. <laughs> That's just the name of his ability, not necessarily. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, that guy's a major antagonist, and he tries to stop you from. In certain ways, <clears throat> uh, without getting too much into the story. Uh, all right, that's done. Uh, and he dies in that after the cutscenes that play after that. So, La Habrea is no more. Um, all right, so now I've finished my wondrous tales. Yes, I got another line. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. So I can turn this in. My deadline is March. Oh, actually, I have two weeks. Didn't realize. Okay. Um, cool. Very cool. Um, let's 
So let me go turn that in now while I have a chance. Um, and she happens to be right there. This is the first time I've actually completed the Wondrous Tales, so that's... I'm happy about that. Hello, Chloe. Hey, there, Mr. Arthurius. Uh, do you come here? Uh, yep. I'm gonna hand over my journal. Wow, you really brought Chloe some great stories, did you? Chloe can't wait to tell er everyone about these. Uh, after I make a few changes myself, of course, I don't want to be a copy, <laughs> copy coral. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So, holy shit, a platinum piece? Um, fucking Windows, second random freeze. Oh, your your computer's freezing on you. I thought you meant mine. Um, the audio goes on for like twenty seconds after it freezes. Then dead. <clears throat> Nothing on my end, right? Oh, okay, cool. Um, what do I want from here? Cool, cool, cool. Um, this is more valuable. Um, money is. I. I'm literally at the money cap right now. I have 30, 300,000 gil, and I can't get a cent, a gil more because I'm on the trial. <laughs> but this is a way to bank some money for later, because I can just sell it. I'd rather get this for now. Um, uh. I really want the silver one here, but I'm gonna get this, and we'll get that, because that'll give me a hundred. Yeah, I'm I'm max leveled, <laughs> so I don't get, <laughs> I can't get any more experience. <laughs> uh, you will be unable to see all the following rewards, experience points. Yes, I am aware because I am max level. Um. Actually, hold on. Can I get some free experience? As a bard here? This is my other this is one of my classes that I haven't maxed out yet, so Yes! Okay, cool. I'm glad I did not turn that in, because <laughs> let's not waste that. Um oh you heard the bonkers new level cap in ESO. You mentioned that to me yesterday, I think. I think I said like 3200 or something like that, but... Uh, okay. You're always helping Chloe so much. Chloe just loves you to death, and not really to death, of course. Chloe would never kill one of the rest. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Alright, can I get another journal, or is that... No, I have to wait till... New Wonders Tale journals will become available each week on Tuesday, 3 a.m. Okay. My time. Alright, so that's my first completion, which is awesome. And my inventory is almost fucking full. And I can actually buy some cool stuff from the gold saucer here. Um, so what can I get with that thing? Magic prisms are useless. I can get Minions, which aren't all that great either. Uh, what are these? Can be exchanged for combat-based varieties of material. Oh, materia. Okay. Uh, I'll pass. Oh, right. I wanted this, didn't I? But yeah, these are just fucking the the magic prisms are fucking useless, um, and I don't care too much about the minions. So the browns certificates are not that useful, except I will want these things. So we'll pass on that for the time being. But yeah, I'm a bard now. Um, yeah, you're kind of excited for the new level cap. Yeah. Um, the fact that it's raising that high is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if it's going to go along with the new expansion 
like the um the one I mentioned it like when the last what was it E no it wasn't E three was it E three I don't remember they mentioned it like the Oblivion expansion um so I don't know if it's gonna go along with it. Companion? That's something you can do in the, the new expansion for ESO? Um, okay, what other? So I got that done. Um, right, let me do the rest of the crafting stuff. That's. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Um, looking forward to having you get an AI companion. I okay. Oh, right, I need to actually go to the Gold Saucer and take care of the daily stuff there. So I'll go do that next. <clears throat> oh, snap. Excellent. Uh, it's one of two people, but as a healer, using ha having to use vampire spells to DPS in melee... Yeah, I would take any. Oh, so they actually help you fight and stuff too, then. Almost like a minion. Um. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I, I guess I should have really, really thought about it. Um, because I was thinking along the lines of Skyrim, where you, you can you can get a companion, and I haven't played Skyrim in forever, so I don't quite remember it. But I, could they fight with you? in Skyrim? Because I know you can get a couple companions in Skyrim. Skyrim is like my only real uh, experience when it comes to Elder Scrolls. Oh, never mind. <laughs> If they can help you fight and stuff, then that's cool, but I guess it also depends on what mechanics they include with that, like... To, to determine how, like, how strong they are is what I mean. Um, can you give them gear? Um, how do... how useful are they? You know? That's all stuff you'll have to... Um, yeah, you don't know. It's something you're gonna have to figure out, I guess, eventually. Or once they release some info about it. <laughs> That's fine. Though. Last one. Oh, I still need to do more for her though after this. Um... I hate suffer. I hate suffer to the max level three times with a bad DPS healer across two different games. I will take any. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> right. and yeah, I'm actually gonna. Let's see if I can do this right now. Actually. Um. So tell me if this is better. You you see my current uh HUD, right? 
in terms of like how how big it is, I guess, and how much real estate it takes up. Tell me what you think. Wait, is it this one? No. Oh wait, no, that's not where I want to go. Uh, I want to go here. And compared to that. <laughs> you don't see my current HUD? I'm just talking about the buttons in the bottom. Yeah, I just... I, I, I like this better just because it's not as big in front of me, and then I can actually see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Um, I can see a little bit more clearer, but after a while, it just starts hurting my eyes because it's... Uh, I've been getting a lot of eye strain recently. I'm not really too sure why, but this has helped a little bit, or making it bigger has helped. <laughs> Actually, this is smaller than what I'm used to anyway, I don't... Um... Well, I don't know. I'll leave it like this for a little bit. Uh, I used to have my raid profiles in while in the middle of my screen and had to play by looking around it. <laughs> yeah, if it blocks the middle of the screen, it, it's kind of annoying for me just because I can't see as well. But... Like, I want to be able to see what's, what's, what's around me, right? So... And what's going in front of what's going on in front of me. <clears throat> I'll do this for like a little bit. Made healing easier as it was in the middle of the screen. Generally, a lazy pen, Darian, though, and through. <laughs> oh, through and through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess you don't. As a healer, you don't need to necessarily look on the screen too much. You just need to pay attention to the health bars. <laughs> That's one aspect of it. Because um, you just need to make sure people are staying alive. But you also still need to look on, look out, and make sure you're dodging AOE hazards and things like that. So. I need to work on some of my macros. I have a few, but... Um... Uh... Condensing my spell bars down as much as I could, and then remo removing the clicking because <laughs> lazy. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I I use a couple macros for my healer just to make it a little bit more um, raid friendly. Let's put it that way. Um, especially when you get like tons of people in, in like the bigger raids, it's like good to let people know, like, hey, I'm resing this person. Uh, things like that, so. And I put some things that kind of, like, warn me, like, hey, your your spell is ready to use again, so. Freaking use it. <laughs> that kind of thing. That is not the ability I wanted to use. That is not the ability I wanted to use. There we go.
Alright, do I have enough? I do. Okay. Hello, Zoe. Z Zloe? Z whatever. Let's make some deliveries. Shift Alt Control to choose who. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can do you can do stuff like that too in this game. All right, that should get her. So he's ever ever so grateful. Uh, thank you. Uh, little cutscene, I guess. You'll be happy to know that Zloe's instincts were right on the mark once more. My contact in Limsa tells me that the materials you collected for the Maelstrom was, and I quote, a bloody godsend. <laughs> yep, those were the Admiral's own words. Uh, can you believe it? Zloe still can't believe it. Every, every piece has been sold off and at, at prices that have our coffers overflowing like never before. And I can finally provide the children with the life they deserve, one square meal a, a day to accompany their usual porridge. Blankets and bedding free of mold and moth holes. <laughs> Shoes with actual soles. And finally, finally, Zoe can treat herself to a fresh bowl of pineapple pudding. Why do you keep eating that? <laughs> um, what will you eat the other day? Not... Uh, eat, eat. Why nothing, of course, but... <laughs> this girl's crazy. Yeah, her, her, her orphanage was uh, pretty run down. <laughs> Why, nothing, of course, but don't- And she only eats pineapple pudding. As weird as that fucking sounds. Like, girl, there's other things to eat. <laughs> um, And thank you for the materia. Those are going to be useful, hopefully. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> she now considers you a savior of the orphanage. She's four out of way to banging. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm... The class, or the class, race, um, is uh, a lesion, but if you want to think, think about it in typical fantasy, I'm, I'm basically an elf. Because um, you can see like the pointy ears on my character. Uh, I played enough Honey Pop. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, um, I don't know if elves can get together with uh, cat girls, but sure. <laughs> I think Zoe would like to see the day when uh, I was finally free of debts. Now that I think, uh, not that I thought I'd actually die, of course, at least, but not free. I mean, we're all going to die one day, right? Uh, blah, blah. Aw. It's, uh, what's her name again? Shit. What's her? I forgot. Takebi, what brings you out here? Is something the matter? It's my friend. I told her my name day was coming and she started crying. She said, she says she doesn't know when her name day is. Then I started crying too. When I first came to Minfini's arms, I cried in my bed every night. I tried to smile in front of you, Miss Silly, but. But deep down, I knew that my mommy and daddy were not coming back. Uh, Miss Sloy was so nice to me and would always cheer me up with stories about dragons. I wasn't crying anymore, and so, so I wanted to do for her what, what Zoe and Miss Sloy did for me. But what can I do, Miss Sloy? If only I can give her my name day, I would. You're a genius, don't you see? We'll just declare your name day the day, the day of all your friends 
who don't have a name day of their own. We can all celebrate together. We're going to need presents, and not just any presents. Presents so delightful that these boys and girls will be able to forget, if only for a day, all the pain. Yep. This is really sweet, actually. Alright, I guess I know what I'm making next. Go make some presents, I guess. Go yourself together, and blah blah blah. Ready to go get collecting. So what do I have to make with for her now? I only have three more for the week. Heartfelt gifts. I'll do that. Uh, she's far the way of banging. I already read that. Uh, I even 100% the tycoon game. <laughs> what the fuck? Catgirl orphanage. And Elamos hasn't done anything. Everything to it. This is an interesting honey pop character arc. <laughs> Not honey pop. Uh, okay, so I can make three more for the week. I need to make this, which requires one. No, I need three of these. Okay, so one to three. Honey Cam Studios was a fucking slog to 100%. Well worth it. <laughs> was it? <laughs> was it truly worth it? That's the question now. I'm peeking. I'm really I'm peeking my voice here. Oh, why is my microphone so high? That should be like here. Uh, hopefully I'm not too loud. You raced him to see who would finish it. Oh my God. <laughs> Ended up with a grim finale to see who could get every STD first. <laughs> Pretty sure the game doesn't have STDs, but sure. <laughs> the imaginary STDs in the game, sure. Just just bang everybody and uh <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> if it really does. Cam Studio Tycoon. Okay, oh god, I don't This is why I will never play Honey Pop. <laughs> I can't play that stuff. That's just uh. Okay, so I need three components, and there's one to three, so... Oh, those are one to one. Uh, I have enough to give her three gifts for the week, so let's just do that real quick, and we'll call this... Done. You can hire out girls. Oh, we felt creepy as fuck doing it. Jeez. I imagine. Uh, the components. So I need nine. Oh. Uh, wait before that, because my inventory is getting full again, because... Discard. Inventory. Man. So that's another thing with the, the free trials that you don't... Um... Here, actually, can I do this? There we go. I can make that a little bit bigger. Make that 100%. Oh god, no. Too big. There we go. This is literally all the inventory I have available to me on, on a free account because, um... I don't have access to a bank and all that under a free account, unfortunately. Um... This inventory system gives you me WoW flashbacks and, and stealing a guild bank to have for myself because fuck you, I'm a guild manager. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, yeah. I tell you what, like the first, the, the moment I, I uh, 
unlock the rest of this game and I start I get off the free trial I'm buying a guild bank <laughs> that's the first thing I'm gonna do because holy shit look at all my inventory is just fucking full of stuff and I don't want to throw anything away just yet <laughs> uh, you can buy you can get your own bank and then um, the guild storage is um, well if I join a guild then I'll hopefully have something like that but I'm secretly kind of hoping that I might make my, make my own guild here, but I need a bigger following first. Um, we'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, it was really useful to have. I nearly half filled the ESL guild bank with shit for a while. <laughs> yeah. Half my inventory right now is just crafting materials because it's... I spent so much time trying to get the my crafting leveled up. Um... And there are these many cl uh, crafting classes. <laughs> and so you have to craft stuff for every different class. Um, so it's just... And I want to be able to use it for later stuff if it, if it, if it becomes relevant. So... Uh, and there's these three gathering ones. So yeah, there's th <laughs> there are tons of classes you can play and... You can play them all on one character, which is really nice. Um, oh my god, I wish they had a crafting bag in this game, but there, there isn't. <laughs> you get the one inventory, and you get the additional inventory, the saddle bag, for what's on your, your mount, and that's it. <laughs> Other than that, you have to uh, have your own bank which you can use with this thing here, the summoning bell. It's a, it's a retainer. You have a retainer that has their own inventory. That's what your bank is. Um, but I can't do that because I'm on a free trial. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get this crafting done because I want to get this done today. Um, uh, I got to craft the nine. 200 to 440 so it makes sense to do this and that Maybe too interested in this system, but I get why people like it. Um, the system of wait, like what system do you, are you talking about specifically? Oh, um, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from doing that, but. Um, personally, I like it because then I don't I don't have to make more characters to try out all the different classes. Um, especially since I'm on the trial account here, I don't. You're already limited in how many characters you can make, <laughs> um, and it takes so long to unlock a lot of the really cool stuff in this game that it's it's um. Making a new character, then you have to go through the whole process of unlocking all the the same stuff on the, on the new character again. It's it's it takes a while. The the game is very story based, right? So you for um a lot of stuff you have to actually complete a lot of the main story to get to access to different areas that then they can unlock other things. So it, there's a lot of that in this game. And Like, I can do it with one character and then have access to all of it, so, I don't know. As I said, I get why people like it, but I personally like rolling character, different characters for different classes. Yep, 
And uh, yeah, I don't really like that kind of stuff. Doing ESL after one Tamriel has split me. I don't recall what one Tamriel included, I guess? I don't know. But like, the point I was trying to get at was like, you start off in the base game, right? You only have access to certain classes as an example. Um, everything you see that's highlighted is something I've unlocked. Um, that's part of the base game. I have not unlocked any of the expansion classes, which is like Dark Knight here as an example. You have to beat all of the main story of the base game before you can even get access to some of this other stuff, like Dark Knight and Astrologian. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Was the update that changed everything so it wasn't level locked areas, but global scaling and you can go and do any area at level one. Yep. Yeah, that would annoy me. Um, yes, it's like at the very beginning of the game, you the only healer classes you have access to is White Mage and Scholar. Um, you only have access to these two tank classes, uh, these three bard, um, black mage arcanist. The rest is locked behind further story stuff. <laughs> um, I mentioned Dark Knight. Dark Knight is for the first expansion and it's for Astrologian. Samurai and... Oh, and Machinist as well, actually. Samurai Dancer is in the next expansion, which I'm going to next later, so even right now I can't access those. Uh, including Red Mage as well. So, yeah, it, there's, there's a lot of content that's locked behind story, and so you have to actually go through it all first. Um... Oh, I want to be able to do everything at the start so I can explore and see what I like instead of dedicating time to unlock something and find out it's wank. Yeah, I can I can accept that, but Final Fantasy is a very story-driven game, right? So it makes sense for this content, I guess. It's very weeb, I got it. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, I don't know. To each their own. Um, Elder Scrolls is very, I don't know, different playstyle, different type of, um, I don't know, I, I'm trying to think of the right word to say there, but it works for Elder Scrolls, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, Do this one here. I'm gonna take a momentary break to grab some water. Uh, oh, Jesus! Twelve o'clock. I just realized. Uh, I might actually take a moment to get lunch. Uh, Skyrim and ESO are not really representative of the series till then. Like how Fallout 4 and 76 aren't for the ones before. Um, I'm confused why you say Fallout 4. 76 being the MMO is, I don't know. And I haven't really played that much Fallout to begin with, so I can't really comment on it, I guess. Or I should refrain from commenting too much on that. <laughs> um, Oh really? Okay. I've only really again I've only really played Skyrim in terms of all the all the all I can't even speak. In terms of all the other Elder Scrolls games. So I thought Skyrim was pretty consistent. I mean you can tell what things are new to the game, like the whole Dovahkiin abilities, I guess. But in terms of like questing and meeting people and going to different towns and things like that, I figured that was all the same. And, and you see a lot of that in ESO too. Uh, Fallout 4 turned into a looter shooter in the Fallout universe. It's it's fun. Um, 
Okay. Hmm. When I when you when you say looter shooter, I I think of like uh, Borderlands. Which, that's another series of games I, I need to actually fucking do. I own it and I still haven't played them yet. <laughs> um, not that looter shooter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to elaborate on that, feel free. Um, go ahead, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go out grab a drink real quick and maybe see if I can... I'll be like two minutes. my back because uh, got water. <clears throat> but I realize I don't have anything to actually uh <laughs> that is not what the fuck. I don't have anything for lunch so I actually have to order food. So middle ground between Borderlands and RPGs. I I'm curious. In what way, I guess, that hmm. Maybe I should just watch some uh like a a little bit of a playthrough of that, I guess. It's a game I wanna play myself at some point, but I don't wanna spoil. I've seen gameplay of Fallout 4 though. I've always felt it was kind of the same thing. Because you still have like the 
the the targeting system, the VAT system, and all that stuff. I think. Um, Fallout 3 and New Vegas were way more character centric, but even if you had intrinsic player skills, it never perfectly transferred. Like your character skills always mattered. Okay. Yep, I, I see what you're saying. Okay. Right, so you as a player could be like god tier at the game, but it won't matter too much unless your character is really good too. Alright, follow four was player fo skill focus. If you could aim, you could aim. Your character's gun skill didn't matter. Ah, okay. See, there's the major thing there. You just said it. Like, I know from playing one... I played one. Two, I played somewhat. I don't quite remember it. That was a long time ago. Three, I started. I haven't really gone very far with it. Um, and you helped me get that set up before. Uh... All of them are very skill focused. You you pick out your skills, you put points into them, you, and all that stuff. If four moved away from that, then 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 that makes sense. Why people would say it it's um, very different, I guess. If your character had five guns in Fallout 3 and you tried to use a sniper, no matter how well you could aim, you would tend to miss at range regardless of how well you aim. If you had five guns, like... Like in terms of, like, weight limit and stuff like that? Like you'd be over encumbered or something like that? Or... What do you mean five guns? Because that... Oh, five in... Five in... The skill. Gotcha. Yep. That makes 100% sense. So I'll take a proper lunch break once food gets here. <clears throat> uh, all right, where did I last year? Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, oh, uh, you're fine. Uh, in Fallout 4, if you aim at people, it will hit because it has more of a Doom style shooting. They even got people from Doom to handle it. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. I kind of miss the system, but also not. Like the old system, as it made the low levels annoying if you found a decent pistol, but because you didn't have high enough gun skill that was higher than some rifles, you just aimed like it was a fucking wet fish and with no rigidity. <laughs> Interesting. I don't, hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It's.
I guess in the long run, if it, the balance works out, then I probably wouldn't care so much, like... Like, hunting rifle, fine. This magnum that weighs less can't aim. <laughs> okay, I'd be pissed about that too. Um, the thing is, in a lot of games, magnums are considered, like, the OP guns. <laughs> Um, it's kind of stupid when you think about it because, like, magnums are sure powerful, but, like, separate the, the rifles from, like, the handguns, you know? <laughs> like, at a, at a certain level of skill, you can handle these handguns and these rifles and then do it like that. I don't know, that's just my own personal opinion, but... Um, Yeah, I know, they, they just group it all into one thing, so... Uh, but again, that's the whole thing with, like, magnums in most games, is that magnums are, like, the most OP guns in the game. You you damn well want to make sure you have enough skill to actually use it, so... Yeah. Being under both made uh, aiming a bitch, so... played at some point. I definitely need to jump back into 3 um, and finish that. I, I barely scratched the surface. Like, I literally I only played it that one time and got to, like, the first town on the outside of the, the vault, and I stopped there. And I need to jump back in and play it again. Because I found it really interesting. I was like, this is really cool. So, I don't know. It just There's so many other games on my backlog right now that I'm trying to get through and I'm actually starting to make some good headway on that but it's like I want to get through those other games first um, they're a bunch of fun in their own right but I still stand and I still stand by Fallout 4 not really being a Fallout game but more of a game with a Fallout paint scheme <laughs> if that makes sense yeah that makes sense uh I'm curious to know what the overall rating by players was for those three games. Three, New Vegas, and four. I think I think New Vegas was the most, like, liked by people, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. I think people like New Vegas more than anything else. In terms of games I'm trying to actually finish, like, I have the whole Yakuza series I'm trying to do. Uh, on the PlayStation 4. Uh, what else? There's some new games I'm getting in soon that I'm gonna hold off for a while. Um, um, yeah, some weird shit happened where it didn't become en enough to enjoy New Vegas. More than three. You had to hate three if you liked New Vegas. Not everyone did that, but some weird trend happened. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That's interesting. The 
3 was the first one that actually was be to be in like full 3D, so I don't know why people... That's like new new, you know? At that point. I wonder why, why people hated 3 then in that case. go buy some new emotes. That's one of the things I want to do. Uh, like, people really started to shit on 3 because New Vegas and Obsidian were their precious babies who could not do no wrong because some of the developers of Fallout 1 and 2 worked on New Vegas, even though it was clear Obsidian were given a bigger project than their team size could handle in the time period, and there are some really massive gaping holes that people seem to omit. So New Vegas got a bigger budget, basically, um, and it turned out to be a better game, so they had to shit on three. <laughs> That's dumb. Oh. Especially for older games, you just kind of have to enjoy it for what they are, is my philosophy. New Vegas had a smaller budget. That's interesting. Okay, I see. Eh, I don't know. Again, what I was saying, just enjoy the game for what it is. <laughs> it's my philosophy for it anyway. They're both fun, it's just fucking deal with it. Uh, and New Vegas has some of the best DLC of any game I have played, yeah. So, I'm definitely, out of all of them, I'm very much looking forward to playing New Vegas. That's, that might be some, no, I think I mentioned that before, that I would potentially stream that, but I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, I'm currently planning to have, like, a day to stream that's just not Final Fantasy, because <laughs> I don't want it to be completely Final Fantasy, that would be, uh, get boring fast, so, and it'll give me an opportunity to actually play some other games, so it might be like a free day or, hey, let's just play this, <laughs> uh, so, Dead Money, Old World Blues, and Lonesome Mode are my favorite three DLCs, there's more than just those three. I know I have all of them. I, I, I purchased everything. I just need to actually play it. <laughs> and hopefully I don't get any is issues like Fallout 3 did.
me at launch, Fallout New Vegas had one quest, it is not responding. And there was annoyingly only one solution which was close pro- <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny way to put it. <laughs> if, was it so shitty at, the, at launch that it just kept crashing that that was the thing? I'm like, oh my god. That's, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad they worked out the bugs at least. I really hope I don't get into issues like that when I start playing it. <laughs> that's good. Fallout New Vegas crash in 112 hours of gameplay that you did. Cool. So for me, at least it's stable. <laughs> the question is whether or not you played it at launch or not. Oh wait, she's just looking different there. Present for the children, how kind of you? The, they, the mere side of the box is sure to fill their hearts with joy and wonder why I suppose they'll have the same effect on me. Alright, and that will be my contribution for the week. At least until Tuesday. You've been working your tail off this week, haven't you? Speaking of tails, I wish, really wish the orphan boys would stop pulling mine. <laughs> Don't they realize how much that hurts? Anyway, uh, I think you've earned uh, yourself a much needed rest. Don't go too far, those lois. Counting you to keep the uh, Minfinia's arms growing strong. Just a little. Hey, you've done your max for the week. Starting again next Tuesday, or Tuesday at 3 a.m. Okay. Just don't do hard code, hardcore mode. Ed, can't speak. Hardcore mode. It's kind of weak in New Vegas, which is sad. But Fallout 4 completely worked. Survival mode in Fallout 4 is the bomb. Wait, hardcore in Vegas? It's kind of weak in New Vegas, which is sad. But Fallout 4 completely dwarfed it. Wait. Uh don't do hardcore core in one. Is it just like really hard? Survival mode, okay. Okay, that's fair. Played in standard mode. Got it. 
I usually play games in standard mode anyway, is it? This, this guy's dabbing. <laughs> there's, there's dabs in this game, apparently. Uh... Okay, um... Let's go to the Gold Saucer. The survival modes in Fallout have the usual weather, food, sleep bars, and making healing items about 20 times slower and causes debuffs to use so you can't spam them in combat. Ah, I see. You, there's no like instant heals, it's like, yeah, you're gonna pop a stim, uh, it takes time to, to actually take effect, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> Sleeping is what saves? That's interesting. One of the things I really love about this game is the glamour system. It's just, you can really customize your character's look. That looks really cool. Let's do my uh, daily prize thing here. Okay, if I can get a free here, that'd be really good. Let's do that one. Okay, so. Hopefully I get a free there. Damn it! Slut broke next to you? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, 360 coins, not bad. If there's a 789 here, I get the 24. That would be good. Uh, let's do this one here. No. So there's no 1, 2, 3s anywhere. Let's pick this one. 769. Okay. Not as good. It's free, free coins. Possibility of 789, I'll take that one. Damn it! That's still good though. Uh, so besides that, let's. So there's a, a weekly lottery here in this place as well. Uh, let's go take a look and see if I actually won anything. Buy three tickets a week. Uh, first ticket, Constellation Prize. Nope, I did not win that one. Second ticket, uh, Constellation Prize. The number is 6802. I picked. Wait, what was my number? My number was, yeah, there, 1070. So. Yeah, nope. You could always be a winner. Uh, and constant surprise again. So it's like you I've got the exact rules is like like they choose a number every week and it's like from right to left, if you match numbers, you get fourth, third, second, or first prize. If you get one number you get fourth, if you get two numbers, you get second prize, third, and then 
three numbers, second prize, all four you win. So yeah, it's quite literally a lottery. Um, I won nothing, and I'll just buy my next few tickets for the week. Random number. Do that. Random numbers. Um, here, give me, give me four numbers. This will be, this will be your ticket. And if I win this one, it'll be, I'll. I'll, uh, oh, because of you. <laughs> All right. Six, nine. We'll find out next Sunday. <laughs> Too late on the first two. Give go for big boy point. Yeah. That would be nice. Um, thank you. Uh, phone, you're drunk. My phone says it's twelve thirty three, but it's actually twelve thirty six. <laughs> Oh, wake up. There you go. Okay. Um, it's like in GTA O. Oh, the online, Grand Theft Auto Online. At the casino wheel. I got the vehicle four days in a row. You can win a vehicle in that game? Sooner than I thought. <laughs> um, every week, the casino has a week vehicle you can win for the for the week from the wheel. It's actually a straight up hundred uh, one twentieth chance. Okay, that's not very uh, big odds, really. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. All oh, right. Uh, Buy some stuff here. Because I recently got some coins. Um, I've seen them like between 350k up to, I think, almost like 3.8 million for a car. Oh, okay. Depends on the car, I would say. These two. Shall I have enough for the boat? Um, the gold dance emotes or the the Brian dance? I don't I think I cared for it. Oh wait, can I save up for uh, amounts? Maybe. I really love the emotes in this game. They're so expressive. <laughs> uh, only downside is you get to, you get it how it's showcased. Some 
you have awful liveries. And so you have to spend like 100 k plus to get it looking passable. I guess like the inside, the interiors, when you say liveries. Itself is difficult, and that's the only way to get it. Then you gladly would pay the the extra money just to get it looking exactly how you want. I wouldn't mind, because I imagine there's no other way to get the car, <laughs> or it's very difficult to get that kind of car. So. Bitch. Oh, come on. Uh, I changed my clothes team all on all my planes and cars like every <laughs> Um I didn't even think about there being like obviously there's planes in GTA, but I didn't think there'd be a place for you to like store them and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that way. Do you still actually play it? So these people are took part in an event here. Those who are familiar with Final Fantasy X will recognize the Ojimbo. And they pretty much just had to dodge his dodge his attacks. <laughs> the longer they last, the more money they make. Someone got knocked out. <laughs> oh, I remember this. They hide some money under a thing there. Can you keep up? Impossible.
Which one is it? Oh, it sucks to be that guy. <laughs> you were in the wrong one. <laughs> You actually picked the right one? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it, like which one would I have picked? <laughs> I'm just watching at this point. At this place, oh god, like three of them just got knocked out there. <laughs> yeah, the, the gold saucer is just like a place for, strictly for like doing mini games and things like that. <laughs> I knocked out. That's it. Everyone's been knocked out. See ya, Yojimbo. Far, uh, far side from you is, is what I picked. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, that was the right one, actually. <laughs> Cool, very cool. Um, yeah, this place is just mini game central. Uh, a lot of like gambling and things like that. Um, if that is your fancy. Um, Alright, I'm done here. Um, Barlow's Guild was stupid. Some fun fights, including a, a Pac Man. One that fucked everyone up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think. Actually, let me. I don't want to jump into something new here. Um, I'm on my way to your location. See you soon. Okay. Yeah, so my lunch is going to be here in a few minutes. I think I'll take a break. Um, I might just shut down the stream for the time being or just have it on break. <laughs> Uh, while I have lunch, but I'll come back definitely after it's done. I think I'll. One of the things I want to do is. Um, I've been working on Blue Mage. Blue Mage is like a very unique job. It's not allowed to do like dungeons and things like the rest. And I've been working on it. It's, it's unique. Oh, I can explain that later, but. Um. I might uh, work on that some, I think. I think that's what I'll do today, because I don't really have much else to do. Um, or much else that I want to do. I could always start up a new class. I, again, I, I want to do one of the melee DPSs here. So I might do that. We'll see. Uh, your four stories run, and three spinning monks were invulnerable, and you had to pick up fruits like in Pac-Man to then make their shields drop and kill them. Okay, and if you hit any walls, you died. <laughs> oh god. That's interesting. I, 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 I really, really believe, like, for game, for MMOs like this, or, you know, the one you're talking about, like, you gotta have good fun mini games to break up the monotony. And do like fun stuff like that, just like mini games. That sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. <laughs> the bra the Brawl's Guild was for a while. It was so much fun. I used to turn up as a tournament healer, <laughs> just bet on people and RP. <laughs> nice. Um. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me go. Oh, right. Ooh, I have a pet plane. Okay, two things. Let's... Alright, so as a bard, um... Talk to this chick over here. That's an interesting, uh... Oh, someone's changing your 
things alive. Okay, we won't stare. Um, shit, I'm gonna go buy some new gear. So we'll buy this. And we'll buy that. Or you know what? I might just spend time doing dungeons to level up the bard here. I think that might be the play. Um, how much more do I have? Uh, 540 so I can buy. Let's buy that. Okay. I'm buying all the level 60 gear for my bard. Once I hit level 60, then it's like I can immediately equip the level 60 stuff. <laughs> Um, I got to the penultimate fight in the league, as if it had ranked, then at max rank you could redo any fight. It was physically impossible for Holy Priest and I refused to play a Disc Priest, or Shadow Priest, as I fucking hated them so. Um, I forget the differences between them. Shit, I don't remember. Hmm. I think a lot of people play disc for like raid healing, or is that holy? I don't. I don't remember. Or maybe you can do both. I guess I don't know. Um. Right. Okay, I will be right back. Yep, all right, so I got my food. Um, Got to take a break here. I'll probably be back like in an hour, give or take. We'll see if I decide to uh, keep streaming. Maybe not, I don't know. I, I'm mostly done with uh, Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably stream. I don't know. We'll see. Um, mostly just because I'm trying to get back into actually doing this more often, and uh, I got some time to kill today, so why not? So I'll be back in a while. Thank you uh, for uh, chatting with me, Kate. I very much appreciate it as always. Yep. Um, yeah, we can chat later uh, if anything. So I'll catch you in a while. Thanks.